guys. So we are in the process of getting ready to go on vacation. We've been doing a few upgrades and things here and there. And one of the things we've really been wanting to do is upgrade our vent that's in the kitchen. We're gonna upgrade it to a fantastic vent. And we have one right now in our bedroom, which is awesome. And so we've been talking about changing that just to kind of help with airflow, help vent out the kitchen when it gets hot and steamy and all that kind of stuff. Because this little vent over the stove actually doesn't do anything. It's, no. It actually takes up too much space. And anyways, that's yes. a whole other upgrade. And we're cooking the smoke alarm goes off all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the campground or wherever knows we're cooking something. So. Yeah, exactly. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so today upgrading, I'm excited. Yeah, so pick this up. Um, actually got it on from Camping World. You know, it had the best deal at the time. They had a sale. I always try to look for the best deal. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I wanted uh, one, this vent. You guys kind of know what the fantastic vents do. There's a fan in there. They're nice and quiet, but they're variable speed. Uh, this one has a thermostat, so it'll automatically shut down, you know, when you don't want it to. Three speed fan. And uh, it's reversible. So this is what I really liked about this one is reversible. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when we're cooking, we can put it on, you know, yeah. vent mode, which will suck. And then uh, we want some more breeze in here. We can reverse it, and it'll actually, you know, suck in air from the outside and, and blow around in here. And that'll so. be nice because this area just tends to get hot, and so it'll be nice to be able to kind of cool that down. Yeah. So two wires. So you know, I was able to find out where I can tap into the power from this light for the 12 volts. So I'm just going to go ahead and hook it up, and have to tear out some stuff on the top, and should go pretty smoothly. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get started. All right. All right. <laughs> So that was removing all this die core is a bit of a bit of a chore. So take your time and uh, be careful not to damage your roof in the process. So what I'm going to do now is just carefully remove a lot of this sealant from the top of this. You can see here's the membrane for the roof. So I want to be careful not to damage that at all and the vent's gonna sit right in here. Uh, so I'm just gonna scrape this away gently all the way around. Removing as much as I can. It's gooey. It is gooey. Hello! Hello! <laughs> yeah, you gotta fix that. <laughs> it's close by tonight. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost I'm almost done uh, removing the old vent and all this old decor and uh, sealant stuff. So to kind of finish it up, I'm gonna use uh, a little bit of mineral spirits and a rag and just kind of gradually work it in and get the rest of it up get it all nice and clean 
and ready for the new vent. So, just gonna keep working on this. Just kind of softens it up, just kind of give it time to do its thing and gradually we'll get it up. So, so far the hardest part of this job is really the uh, removing the vent and getting the old, all of this old adhesive and decor off of the roof. Um, once we start installing the new vent, I don't think it's going to really be that difficult. But I've been working on this other part probably for about an hour. And I'm just getting, taking my time and making sure that I don't get a little over anxious and uh, puncture a hole in this roof of mine. Okay, it's all cleaned up and I'm ready for the uh, install of the new vent. But uh, I'm not gonna lie, it took a little bit of elbow grease to get it all um, wiped up and cleaned up and uh, get all tidied up for my install. So yeah, check out this, uh, here's my box of Dicor chunks. You. Okay, I'm about ready to put this uh, vent on, but there's a couple things I had to pick up from my RV store, supply store, and uh, the first thing is uh, this roll of butyl tape. This is one inch tape. It's kind of a putty sealant. It's got a sticky side on both sides, and I'm going to use it to create a watertight seal between the um, between the vent and the roof. And finally, once I get all the screws and everything in, I'm going to seal it all up with this self-leveling uh, die-core sealant. Um, you know, that white stuff that you see sealing up everything around your roof. So I got a couple of tubes of that. And that should do the trick. And uh, that should be plenty. Probably give me extra for another project. So first thing I do is uh, get some soapy water and clean this up real good. And then I'll be ready to... Ready to Put the vent on. Yep. Okay, the last thing I need to do up here on the roof is to put a nice coat of decor on this to seal it up and let it do its self-leveling thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Starting with the screws. Important thing with Dicor is that you apply it when it's warm. It doesn't really work as well when it's cooler out because the uh, Dicor has to be nice and warm, at least at room temperature, in order to uh, kind of do its self-leveling thing. So it works much better when it's warm. I've actually had to do this before and actually take a blow dryer to the die core before I've applied it before so it comes out and it takes a lot longer to uh, fill in the gaps it's cold in fact I think it says right here on the package apply warm let it sit at room temperature for a while before you actually use it
All right, the final step of this project is to basically wire up the fan. Um, there's two wires coming out and there's a little groove here that it all kind of fits in. I'm gonna maneuver it around and I've fished it into this little hole that's already there, that the wire already went in there for this light. And um, I've tested this out earlier just to make sure the fan worked before I installed it. And, uh, and I just finished um, twisting it on to these uh, positive and negative connections on this light. So I'm gonna double check to make sure everything works. Yeah, looks like I've powered to the fan and uh, everything is good to go. So, so we've had this vent installed for a few days now and uh, you know we've had a chance to use it a few times and uh, what do you think? I like it. We're actually on a trip right mm -hmm. now and we've gone into some hotter weather. Um, the rig's actually gotten pretty hot and we've done some cooking and we've been able to put, turn that on along with our AC to cool the rig down a lot faster. Create some good airflow. Yeah, no, I mean, we have another one in the back too, so with both of them running, it's it's fan mm. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how they came up with that name. I wonder. Mm. So, yeah, I like it too, and it, and it looks it looks much better than the vent that was there before. Yeah. We've had our rig, what, seven years now? Yeah. And so things start to discolor a little bit from sun, and the one we had before was yellowing just a little bit. Mm -hmm. This has a white, uh, base to it mm -hmm. just looks new fresh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I like it Yeah, yeah, pretty easy to use. Yeah. Mm hmm sucks real good <laughs> That was the point. Oh, so. yeah, okay. Yeah, I like it. I yeah. think we're gonna keep it. I think so It's stuck to the roof. It ain't going anywhere <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I well, hope it's helpful. Mm -hmm. See you guys next time. Bye, Bye. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our video let us know what you think in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. See you next time.